Okay, before you continue working on, on the rest of the problems independently, I'd like to make sure that you kind of are on the right track with number three. So I'm going to ask a little shifting to go on in the classroom. I'm going to pair you up differently and see if you can come up with a strategy to solve the problem, or maybe you already did come up with the same strategy. So if you can just please group with uh, the person I put you with. Uh, Chris, I'd like you to group with Ashley. We can get up, we can move around. Everyone stand up, because we're gonna be moving. Chelsea, I want you to hook up with Claudia. Josbel, go ahead and hook up over here with Hector. Ernesto with Annabella. Chris Nell with Daniela. And uh, Danielle with Helen, right over here. Okay, thank you for adjusting. Work with the partner that I have chosen for you. Okay, I want to look, I'm looking for a couple things. I'm looking to see that, if I can just have your attention before you get started, you're so eager, that's great. I want you to identify variable, what variable you're choosing, what you're looking for, okay? And see if you can come up with an equation together and be ready to explain to your group. The purpose behind the pairing was for the students to get a different perspective of how to solve the problem. And of course, if one was a little higher level than the other, they can explain it to them, almost like a peer tutor. Maybe circling things in the question to help you. Who are we talking about in this question? Okay, circle that name. Kyoko. Kyoko, okay, two people. Pick a letter to represent. Kyoko and Tokichi. Exactly. Okay, the K for Kyoko and the T for Okay, so you know together their, t their age is equal to. How much? Um, uh, the sum, the sum of their ages, the sum of Toshiko's and Kyoko's ages together equals 79. Okay, so four plus 79? Well, Kyoko mm -hmm. and Toshiko equals 79. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Kyoko's is four. Kyoko is, well, we don't know that yet. But we know Kyoko is K, because you told me Kyoko. So it's okay. So, um, so K. K. Okay. Now tell me what Toshiba is. What does it say Toshiba is? Four. Four. Years old. More. More, yeah. Four. Than? Um, Kyoko. Twice as old as Kyoko. Uh -huh. Do you know what Kyoko is? No. no. Plus, twice as old. So 2K. Okay, um, 2K. Plus, four. Four. right, four. Good job, Jospel. Okay, so that represents, who is that? Um, Toshibo. Good job. That's Toshibo. Okay, now combine like terms. Hector, continue to explain how you combine like terms, please. While I was doing informal assessments walking around, I wanted to pick on the students uh, to come up to the board. First, I wanted one that would know how to clearly explain the problem to the students. But then I also wanted to pick a student that perhaps had a little bit of learning difficulty understanding the lesson, so that, that way they could be assisted by maybe the peer that was standing next to them, or they could even call up their partner to the board to assist them. And then I wanted to pick somebody that had an aha moment. I saw somebody really struggling when I was doing informal assessments. Then all of a sudden, they got placed on that board, and they knew exactly what they were saying. They were able to clearly communicate with the rest of the students what the problem um, was asking and communicate that effectively with the students to solve it. Josbel, let's start with you. I want you to first tell me what your variables are. Your variables are... Um um, uh, K and T. Okay. And um, over here I put um, I, I put um, 
one plus two is three, and then I. Uh, Oh, I need help here. You need help? All right. You can call on your partner to help you. You worked with your partner. Work together. Assist him in the process. Okay, I, think, um, I should strike four um, to 79. And give me 75. And I um, should try um, three to um, 75. It give me 25. And the 25, I. Um, Subtract four from 79. the 79 and give me 54. Okay, excellent job. But it felt horrible understanding the problem because you were talking and talking. And I'm like, okay, I was so lost for such a long time. And then it was like, yes, finally, you know what she's talking about. What caused you to finally get it? it like, I guess working in the group. And having Chris, you know, talk and, like, help me and Daniela, you know, it finally, like, I understood it. It was, it was good. Did you understand learning from your peer a little bit more than learning from the teacher? Yeah, I, I it was easier, like, learning from my peers because I don't want to say they dumbed it down, but they got it down to a level that I could really understand it. 